Hello my friends and welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just in the mood for kind of a lighthearted fun video. Nothing serious, no serious sports talk, no NHL playoff talk like I usually do uh, during this time of year, during this time of this year, I should say. But I just felt like let's do a fun video. Let's get back to the logo ranking and just kind of have some fun and look at some of the baseball leagues that I've been doing, the minor leagues. And there are some funny and uh, and also amazing logos in some of these leagues. We're going to do the F. SL this day uh, or this video we've got the Florida what's it called Florida Florida State League Florida State League never heard of it can't pronounce half of the half of the <laughs> the, the cities or towns in in this league but uh, we're gonna go through them there are 12 uh, logos or teams in this league this is a completely subjective just a fun video there's no right or wrong we're just having some fun here uh, let's go through these I'm gonna reveal my ranking in reverse order from 12 to 1 let's get it Number 12, I put the Palm Beach Cardinals. I like originality. Don't get me wrong, I like affiliation, and I appreciate the fil affiliation here, but I like originality. So I like the fact that they changed the text, obviously, to say Palm Beach, and just wasn't just the generic Cardinals. So I like the Palm Beach part, but it's just, I mean, this is the Cardinals' regular logo. There's not really anything unique or original here, so I prefer originality. That's really the only reason it's last. Number 11, for the exact same reason, the Blue Jays. This is just a Blue Jays logo with a different city or a town put on it. That's it. Number 10, the the Lakeland Flying Tigers. I, even though this is quite low, it's still not a bad logo. It is very almost like late 50s, 60s, like car emblem vibes going on here. I feel like the wings could be on the back of a, a big old Cadillac or a, not maybe not a Cadillac, but you know, you know what I mean. It's just... I don't know, it, it feels not so much like a sports logo, but more like a vehicle logo. And also the scripty kind of 50s style font. Uh, it's not bad. I do like the colors together, the orange and, and the blue. That always works well together. I do find the text on the, along the bottom pretty big, though. It's, you have two main elements fighting uh, for attention there, the text on the bottom and then the actual logo in the middle. I would prefer to see either the text really big or ideally the logo really big and the text small underneath of it. Uh, number nine, the Fort Myers <laughs> Mighty Muscles. <laughs> I mean, I have to give top marks here, at least for the color combination. The yellow with the purple or the gold with the purple. Uh, we don't see that enough, so I really appreciate that. And we don't have enough purple in sports, so uh, kudos to them for doing it. The The logo itself is a bit awkward just because of the specific shape that that is. Uh, obviously, it's a muscle, but there's also other comparisons that you could make uh, with it but it's got a, an awesome baseball element to it he's got the cap on he's got the baseball bat which is pretty great but again I kind of go back to what's the main element here they're almost fighting for attention the actual specific logo and the text let's make one bigger number eight I put the Florida fire frogs I mean it's kind of a cool name but that font is terrible that is the most generic like ancient style Roman font I've ever seen uh, it, you know, it's, it is kind of unique with the bevel and stuff and you can see shadows and shades and stuff on it, but I don't know. It's just, I feel, I feel very generic. It feels very structured while the logo isn't. The logo is very cartoony. Uh, they, they just don't fit together. So I, I do like the, if it was, if the font was off there, I think this would be way up my list, but to me, the font ruins it. I like the colors. Number seven, the Jupiter hammerheads. Uh, this is pretty fantastic as far as color. Uh, I love seeing teal and red together, or, I mean, it looks red on my screen. Maybe it's like a really reddish orange, but it looks straight red uh, on mine. You get a character in there, which is kind of cartoony, but it, it looks pretty cool. The way that he's looking, though, kind of ruins the perspective of what makes the hammerhead so identifiable. He's looking off like this, and so you don't actually get, like, the, the structure of the head. It would have been cool if he was, like, looking down like this. You can totally see the structure of his head, um, but the actual text itself or the lighthouse coming down for, and to make the, the text or the, the name of the, the team Hammerheads actually makes the shape of the shark, which is cool. Um, it's not bad. It's a little busy. Number six, the um, Marauders. So I see a little bit of Pittsburgh Pirates in here. I can kind of see... Philadelphia or not Philadelphia Pittsburgh uh, Penguins uh, yeah I mean the, the color combination is is what's driving me in that direction and also the fact that that is uh well I mean it looks like a pirate to me but a marauder I don't know the difference I know I know that marauder is a word I don't actually know the definition of it so uh, this is not an educational video if you can't tell already 
it's a pretty decent logo. It's all contained in this one big thing. There's no like floating text or anything. It's it kind of the text mimics the shape of the hat almost in a way. It's stylized. It's it's a pretty great it's a pretty great logo. Number five, I put the Charlotte Stone Crabs. Love the color combination. Two shades of of an attractive blue, almost a sky blue, and then a deep ocean blue, and then the yellow there just to kind of give it a kick of kick of color. And a bit of a shine there on the S in stone, which is which is nice. And it's also menacing because he's kind of like he's got this cheeky look on his face and he's got the claws out. So uh, I like this one. Number four, I put the Mets. Uh, I just love the colors here. Not often do you see an actual gradient in a logo, but when you think about the sky, it is one big gradient, specifically at sunset or sunrise. And Florida gets some amazing sunsets and sunrises. They have a town called Sunrise. This is awesome. I just love the colors here. I think this completely makes it. It does even have like a baseball vibe to it. Like this sign is on an old baseball, you know, field somewhere in Florida. And it's just kind of like tacked on there. So I really like this one specifically because of the colors. Number three, the uh, tarpons or I think that's how you say it. I don't, I don't really know. This is a very typical baseball logo. The lines coming through the background is lines that you might see on a baseball uniform or shirt or jersey, whatever you want to call it. The colors are fantastic. Again, two shades of blue. You got the guy in there with the baseball bat, so there's a baseball element. There's nothing wrong with this logo other than the fact that it's a little bit busy. There's a lot of elements, but I, I quite like it. Number two, I put the Clearwater Threshers. Kind of an awkward name, but I, I do like the shark in there. He's chasing the baseball, so it's got a baseball element. The background almost looks like a shield a little bit, which is which is pretty great. Colors are unique compared to the rest of the league, so I like that. Uh, the text, little hit or miss for me, hit hit or miss for me, uh, but I, I do like it. Number one, the Daytona Tortugas. Number one, that's a pretty cool name. Number two, those colors are amazing. You got a green, you got another shade of green, and you got an amazing shade of blue. If you've ever been to Florida, there are many places where the, the water is just so clear. You can almost just like see right down to the bottom wherever you go. That's what that shade of blue reminds me of. It reminds me of the sky also. I really like it. The baseball bat is colored accurately. The Daytona font matches that. So there's balance there in that color. Fantastic logo. Absolutely fantastic. Also, you can see the diamond uh, shape kind of in the in the background there. <sighs> it's I, The bubbles are cool. They're a little cartoony, but... I really like this. I like the expression on the turtle's face. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I like it. Anyways, just a fun video. Nothing serious, not educational by any means. I would love it if you could leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which one was your least, fa least favorite. Subscribe if you want to see more logo rankings just like this, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Actually, before I go, just so you guys know, if you want to play marbles, if you don't know what marbles is, it's a very fun interactive game on Twitch. I'm going to be playing it every single Friday night. Every single Friday night, I'm going to be starting to give away prizes. So if you want to have some fun, if you want to play games with me, and if you want to win prizes, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash post to post every single Friday night, usually around 9 p.m. Eastern. I usually stream on YouTube first, on here, on this channel, and then I transition over to uh, Twitch. So I would love it if you could join me this Friday. I will be live streaming. I said on the weekend, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to because I'm moving. I'm doing it. I'm live streaming Friday. So I would love it if you could join me. I will catch you guys at that live stream, I hope. See you later. Adios.